eclipse for more than 15 years will plunge the country into darkness later and it's got everyone very excited. Yeah, these school children, like thousands of others, will be seeing the phenomenon for the first time. That's in the next few hours. In Britain, we are counting down to the solar eclipse with these very excited school children. Yes, it's all eyes on the skies here in Plymouth this morning. 150 school children have got up early. We've got beautiful clear skies here in Plymouth and they've all got uh, their eclipse glasses on, ready to watch this historical, astronomical moment. Lovely. Also, yeah. Richard is uh, at a school in Plymouth for us this morning, one of the first places that's going to get a chance to see it. And you've got some very excitable children there too, I should imagine. Oh, I certainly have, and science lessons, Ben, have never been so much fun. Take a look at this lot this morning. Uh, uh, um, we're hearing on this table just how we can use a colander to look at the eclipse. Uh, let's listen in, shall we? So if you place the colander on your shoulder with your back to the sun, that way you'll be safe. The sun and that's what it's all about. It's all about staying safe in the sun. And uh, over on this table, they're learning about pinhole cameras and how they could perhaps just use a piece of card to make a little hole in it. They could put it over their shoulder and then look at the image of the eclipse as it happens a little later this morning. We are counting down now. We've got less than two hours until it all starts. James here has been working with Play-Doh. James, haven't you? To try and show us a bit more what's going to happen this morning. The moon gets in the way of the sun, it blocks out the heat and some of the light. Okay, well we're all very excited and this lot have got their eclipse glasses ready this morning so when it does happen they can look safely at it. Beautiful clear skies. Last night we had the most amazing sunset here in Plymouth and uh, it was a good sign for us because it meant that we thought that we were going to get a good shot of the, the sun this morning. We will. It's up in the east there. This lot are all getting their glasses on outside. 150 of them here ready to look at the near total eclipse. Partial eclipse, I suppose, 87%. Are you excited about this, Luke? Um, what are you looking forward to seeing this morning? Um, when it, like, goes, the sky goes dark because there hasn't been one for 16 years and... Lucky. Yeah, you're very lucky. And Sarah Jane, my daughter, 10 years old, says she's not allowed to go outside at school. Very different here. Are they going to be safe? I, we hope so. We certainly hope so. Our priority in school this year has been outdoor learning and science, and we thought what a wonderful way to combine the two, and uh, we're really looking forward to it. I know we all are. Look at this lot up on the hill there. They're all staring at the sky already. Actually, the sun's over there, you lot, in the east. Keep looking. <laughs> <laughs> Great stuff. Fantastic. So the children will, like thousands of others, see the phenomenon for the first time within the next half hour. Wow. Uh, over here in Britain, uh, we're counting down with these school children in Plymouth. Richard's there. Well, the sun has risen beautifully here in Plymouth this morning, and as it rises, so do the excitement levels. The eclipse glasses are on. They're all looking up at the sun now, and of course, they are staying safe. Join us a little later as this eclipse develops, but for, but for now it's time for the news and weather wherever you are this morning. In, that in just a moment, uh, Richard Gateford is at a school in Plymouth, uh, one of the first places that are going to witness the eclipse in the UK, and you've got some very excited kids there, Richard. Oh, we certainly have 150 of them were here at half past five this morning, all wanting to take part in this eclipse spectacular. And they're listening in at the moment, hearing other ways, apart from the glasses, of You're looking at the uh, eclipse. Let's have a listen to what Heidi's telling them here. safe in the sun, because not everybody has got their glasses. So what you do is you take yourself a colander out of your kitchen cupboard. You stand with your back to the sun, that way you can't damage your Who'd eyes. Who'd have thought a colander could be so useful for the eclipse? Over here, Hazel's teaching them about how they can make their own little pinhole camera with a bit of card. You can hold that over your shoulder and beam that image and science lessons Ben and Kate have never been so exciting little Mia over here now Mia you've got some the Sun and the moon and the earth you hold them up and show us what's gonna happen this morning what's gonna happen First it gets warm and then the moon comes along and it gets chilly and dark and it gets cold and, and, and all the people get cold. And then it all warms up again hopefully. Well it's warming up outside. Take a look at our live shot here in Plymouth this morning and you can see that we have this wonderful, wonderful sun this morning. The cloud did come across at about 6.30 this morning just as it came up. It's now cleared. Everyone's being quiet. Sarah Jane who's the head I mean my daughter's 10 her primary school they're not going outside look at you lot you're all out are you going to be safe we hope so we've got our glasses and we're ready
you're ready and, and you're going to make sure obviously that the glasses are on and that the children are doing it just absolutely. the right way absolutely we've had a practice and we've told the children they're not to look at the sun without the glasses we've we've given them some a safety brief and uh we're very excited. Well, we're it. in good company here in Plymouth today because the Queen is in Plymouth today. Let's just hope she's got some of these as well to view this eclipse. Somewhere, uh, this is Plymouth. They've got a it's lovely shot in Plymouth. Plymouth. Look, Look at that. that. On the left of your screen, the top right-hand corner, you can just see the moon nibbling away at the it sun is. at the top there. And then there. Madrid on the right, they're an hour ahead of us, and that's where it started first. You see they're a bit further forward. Let's have a look. There's the kids that are down at the school in Plymouth putting their glasses on, having a good look at it. Hopefully they'll get Wonderful. a good shot slowly going to lose the light over there and it, I, I'm feeling like the heat's been taken out of the sun here. Absolutely freezing. They say it's going to get cold and it really is chilly.